Hey guys, it's me, Subpanda101 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the new League of Legends client on Ubuntu 16.04 and Arch Linux. So, the first half of the video is going to be me installing it on Ubuntu, and the second half is going to be me installing it on Arch Linux. Both of the methods are pretty similar once you get the client downloaded, but actually getting the client working is different on each distro. So the first thing you want to do is, well first things first, I'm using a normal Ubuntu 16.04 install in a virtual machine. So this is a complete fresh install of Ubuntu and it should work if you don't have a fresh install but I recommend that if you have a fresh install you should follow this guide straight away. So the first thing that you should do is open up your web browser and search for Lutris if uh, the keyboard will let me. So Lutris is an open gaming platform which allows you to install games basically and it's useful because it has scripts in it that can install programs for you. So once you go on the Lutris website you should navigate to downloads tab and look for the Ubuntu commands right here. So you should just copy and paste them into a terminal. So do this one by one enter your root password and then do it with this and then I recommend you sudo apt update I said in the installer And then sudo app install Lutris. So while it's doing that, I'll navigate to the games tab and search here for League of Legends. Which is right here. Is it done? It's nearly done. Sorry if the um, lag is quite noticeable, I'm, I'm using a virtual machine for this. So after you've installed it, I would recommend that you give it a run, just in case. So you get it set up first, and then you'll be greeted by this menu. I recommend that you just minimize that now and then click install which you can just open it with Lutris and it'll pop up. So we are using OpenGL Wine and then I'll put these in the tutorial so you don't have to follow these yet, I'll show you how to use them. Then click continue, install. Then the client will download the wine version which is of staging and staging is good because you can add CMST and other features to increase performance. Also one thing that I would recommend you do in this stage is go to software additional drivers on Ubuntu let's wait till it's loaded and then you should install the proprietary drivers so if you're on AMD, I don't think AMD really doesn't have any more additional drivers now from 14.10 upwards but if you're on NVIDIA you should probably go into the additional driver settings and install new drivers. Since I'm on AMD card it won't find anything.
just wait for this to respond. And then it will download the League of Legends client. And when it's done that, we'll just open it up. I'll pause the recording now and I'll be back when it's done. Right, after it's installed, you should be met with this page. This means that the install was mostly successful and that we don't have that long to go to get League of Legends working now. So the next thing you should do is open up a terminal and put in the command sudo apt install line and then click yes and wait for all that to install. Um, this is a step that I missed out. Make sure to actually do this otherwise it won't work well not in my experience anyway because this will actually install the wine program onto your system which you'll then be able to use to actually open up League of Legends. I will be back when it's done and I'll talk you through configuring and actually running the game. Now that Wine is installed, we should be able to... Oh, no, I don't think we need this. After it's installed, we should be able to open up the Wine configuration now. Or at least run the game. It should take a little while to boot. This is because of the actual configuration process in the background in order to actually use wine. Ah, well, we have the config up. Oh, and it's loading, right. So, let's just cancel this a sec. So that should be it. That should be League of Legends done. But I am going to show you some things that you should do first. Such as enabling some of the settings from earlier and actually... Well, let's just reset now, I guess. it should just do this. I'm sorry for the slow performance by the way guys, I am running this in a virtual machine like I said earlier, that's why most of the video has been stalling for it to actually open and to actually work. I'm sure the Arch install will go a hundred times quicker since it's native. But after it's done this, then if your hardware is quick enough and you are happy with the performance you can honestly just wait till your game is downloaded and start playing straight away but I'm gonna show some tips that you should use when actually running the game in a sec after this is done For some reason it's taking its time. Oh, it's closed now. That's probably because it's restarting. Still says playing League of Legends down here. Yep, it's restarting, it's rebooting. And then you should be met with this. Well, there's another update, but I'm just going to see if I can just close it down. Or not, since it's already restarting. 
Oh wait, and I can quit it. I think. Let's just quit the launcher. Your phone was so bad in the virtual machine. Sorry, guys. After it's done here, right. Right, now we can actually configure it. Okay, so press this, not this, I mean, right click on this. Oh god, it's loading again. Right, let's just close it down. Right, right. Oh. Okay, so let's just close it and open it again because it's being awkward. Right, open up Lotris and... Right click on here, and then go down to Wine Config, and then it should open up this. Put Windows version... I recommend Windows 7, but I'm going to keep on XP for... performance, not performance, but for stableness. And then go in staging and enable CMST for better graphics performance. And I guess you could enable environmental audio extensions, but I don't think that's really necessary. Then click apply and OK. Then once you run it, the performance should be a lot better because it's pretty much closer to the hardware at this point. Right, you can just accept that, please. Yeah, right, so, um, after you've done this, I recommend you go into settings at the top. And then enable low spec and close client during game. And then that's pretty much it. It should just download, and that's the lead client installed on Ubuntu. Now I'm going to switch over to Arc and show you how to basically do the same thing on there. Hey guys, I'm back and now I'm going to be showing you how to actually install League of Legends on Arch Linux. So to begin, you should do the same thing as last time and open up a web browser. And then once you've done this, go straight to the Lutris website again. Go and download and then see what you need for Arch. So, you can get Lutris from AUR repositories. And if you don't know what these are, AUR repositories are Arch Linux user repositories, which can be accessed with package managers such as PackAUR and Yout, which I don't have installed. I recommend using Yaru if you're a beginner, but I use PackAUR, but I'm going to show you how you would install Yaru. So if you go on Yaru Arch, 
I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but ya 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 out. And then you would type in these commands line by line into a terminal until you would be met with the error inf interface. Personally though I use PackAUR which I believe is better but you can use whatever AUR manager that you like. So once we've installed the AUR repository manager open up a terminal and then type in the manager name so you could type in yaroot pakewar don't know any of us but since I'm using pakewar I'd type in pakewar dash s which means that it is installing a package and Lutris. I already have it so I'll just reinstall click no to view package build then you should put in your root password and then it will compile the package and then that's what just installed basically um, and then you should open blockers right here so once you're in Lutris we're going to do exactly the same for the League of Legends one we're going to go back onto the Lutris website go on here, go on games type in League or League of Legends and then click install we'll come up here click continue put the directory on that and then it'll do what it did before on ARC I don't believe that you do need to install wine manually it usually comes in a Lutris package but if you do need to install wine I recommend that you open up a web browser wine at Linux and then go to installation and install wine staging which I would recommend because personally I think it's the best so I'm going to wait until lol full is downloaded and all the other ones downloaded until something interactive comes up once you've got the base installed it'll come up saying that it can't find a mono package click install and it should download the mono package and you also need to get the gecko package from the installer that'll pop up after this one it'll only take a few seconds to download and then we are nearly done to actually installing leak on ubuntu not ubuntu at linux and then once it's done all that it should pop up with the installation finish screen I recommend you do create a desktop shortcut and an application menu shortcut just so it works and then open up wine configuration like we did last time staging and it enable these two again and then click play and crossing my fingers here it should work again yeah it works completely fine and then that's it you've installed League of Legends on Arch Linux so like, comment, and subscribe for the next video. I'm probably going to be making some more tutorial videos quicker than the gap between my other videos. And I'll see you in the next video.